In this video, you will learn how to use push buttons on the user interface to configure a PR module. Before entering the configuration menus, you must first acknowledge any errors detected by the module. Here, you can see the module is detecting a sensor break error. SE.BR appears on the display and scrolling help text helps you to understand the nature of the error. Also, the backlight blinks to help you spot an error among a group of products mounted on DINRAIL. A sensor break error occurs if the sensor has failed, the wrong sensor type is connected to the module, or there's no sensor connected to the module. To acknowledge the error, just press the OK button one time and the backlight will stop blinking. Press OK again to advance to the next menu. This menu appears if you enabled password protection. Just enter the correct password and then press OK to proceed. Now you have the choice to enter the advanced configuration menus if desired. In this video, we will stay in the basic configuration menus. So press one of the arrows to select No and then press OK to proceed. In this menu, select the input signal type measured by the module. Just press the arrow buttons to select the signal type, in this case a temperature input, then press OK. Now, select the specific kind of temperature sensor the module will measure. A platinum RTD is shown on the display, but I want to measure a thermocouple. Just press one of the arrow buttons to select TC, Press OK and select your thermocouple type. This animation clearly shows how to navigate. Every time you press the OK button, the interface advances to the next menu. Press one of the arrow buttons to make a selection, then press OK to advance. After configuring the last menu, press OK and the word WAIT appears. The interface downloads your configuration into the module and then returns to operational mode. Here are some configuration tips. You can go backwards through the menus by simply holding down the OK button until you reach the desired previous menu. Then press the arrow buttons to make a selection within that menu. During configuration, if you do not press any button for 60 seconds, the interface will time out and exit configuration mode. If this happens, your configuration changes are lost and you have to start over. If you are configuring a module and 60 seconds of inactivity is approaching without a button press, you can reset the interface timer by simply pressing one of the arrow buttons. In the routing diagram, each menu has an associated text number. For example, this menu has the reference text 12. In the manual is an overview of all configuration help texts which help explain what each menu means. 